I've just been saying how wonderful Sharon's skin is. Um, and, and, you know, in, there's one area that I, I can improve on, and that's <laughs> the eyebrows. Now, the wonderful thing is the shape's there, but she's like me. She, they're quite blonde. And vitally important to anything that you do with your eye makeup is to get that colour and that definition to your brows. But you don't want to look like Groucho Marx at the same time, and you definitely don't want to look like the slug eyebrows of what people are doing now. But you do need that definition in order to for your eye makeup to work, and also just generally to you know to, to get that kind of contour to your eye. So, eyebrow pencil test, and that's in your book, and it's also something that I talk about quite regularly. This is where your eyebrow should start which is perfect, where um, Sharon's got anyway a natural uh, contour, where your eye looks straight ahead, that's where the arch should start. So we're talking about just underneath there, we, any uh, tiny little hairs would need to be plucked out. I haven't done this yet with uh, Sharon, because we'll, we'll keep that for another day. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then where you, from the nose to the corner of the eye, that's where your eyebrow should finish, okay? So it's very, very simple. Go like that and then like that, okay? So I'm gonna use the um, Studio 10 pencil again. It's really, really good, this one, because it's not too dark, so you're not gonna get, you know, get that shock. It's actually very, very similar to a kind of mousy hair color. If you're a woman of colour or you've got very, very dark brows, then we have got something for that. But in the, the general the room of th th room or, rule of thumb, I haven't, I've only been having coffee, honestly, uh, is this one's good. So first there, then when the eye looks straight ahead and there, so you can see that it's kind of mapped out and off we go. Now what you need to do is just use tiny little strokes this is really, really key. Don't try to get hold of it and just go like that, because you're actually gonna really just get this kind of strong, overarched eyebrow of back in the day. We want it to look really natural. So tiny little strokes up, like that. And then from the middle, just tiny little strokes again to there. Don't try to do it in one go because if you do you'll end up really with that overarched brow that we don't need. I'm going to use a brush and just very softly again brushing it up brush it over like that so that you can see the immediate effect. Now you don't need to do that really until the end but you can immediately see where those brows are nicely coloured but they don't look false, okay? So we've got blonde and we've got more definition. And it's very, very quick and easy to do. So let's go again. And I'm just gonna pop a little extra bit on there. And again, tiny little strokes. Really important that you use tiny strokes. Like that, brush it up. When you get to that side, just following the natural line Go like that and again using a brush and you don't need to buy one of these you can use an old mascara brush and wash it out just exactly the same but make sure when you're doing it that you brush it up like that okay so we've got the definition now and we're going to go straight in with the shadows you can't do the shadows till you've done that 